What is going on, everyone? Shino775 here, and I'm bringing you another great episode of the Saints Row the Third Let's Play. In the last episode, we ended up doing another gang attack. We ended up uh, also doing another mission where we finally acquired the penthouse. And now I kind of figured I was back in the in the neighborhood. I was kind of going around some of the city, getting some of the stores um, like unlocked from like their mysterious kind of pleasure mark thing. And I saw that there was still this uh, gang attack thing I never finished up from the last episode. So I figured now that I got my interceptor out, which is another DLC unlocked thing, I'd just go and you know start taking them out. So let's go and do that. And let's see here. Johnny would love that one. There we are. All right, so whoop, there goes that overheated the gun, but yeah, just kind of having a bit of fun on here, you know, not really caring too much about what goes on because well, I'm kind of in an overpowered state if you couldn't really figure. But hey, there you go. Oop. All right, so that took off that, and now we've got another part of the um, of the city basically taken over of this little section, of course. But as you can see. Uh, once I load it up, of course. I've only really been working on this one, and I've unlocked a bit of this section of the map, but we're still going to have a lot more, um, you know, stuff that we're going to have to go and do later on in the series, of course. But decided not to really spend too much time on that. Instead, we're going to go back into another mission because, well, you know, we got to get some, get some of this stuff going. So, of course, going to go back on here. And hey, let's go and I get think that I'm done. ready to make a move on the syndicate. What do you have in mind? Head to the crib. I found something you should see. Better be worth my time. I think it's a safe bet. It'll be worth it. Alrighty, so yeah, pretty much just probably going to be another introduction to a activity. These few, like these first few missions, tend to be that. So not really going to, you know, go too much uh, on it. Not much um, in the way of story. A lot of times with these beginning missions, but. Anyways, I like using this Ultra Interceptor. It's actually a um, basically another reskin of a vehicle you'll get later on in the game from the um, from the military, like the really extreme military. I forgot their name. Uh, I think it's a stag. Yeah, it's a stag because it's like an animal. But um, yeah, that's basically what the reskin is of this one. I really enjoyed it when I did unlock it the first time playing through the game. But I'm um, just kind of glad I can have it early on in there because it's very you know, easy to go and ride around. So, just gonna go back to the penthouse, start up the mission and whatnot, and yeah, let's go and get that going. Oop, that is the wrong button right there. Let's go down here and do that. And yeah, there we are. Check it out, boss. What's up? Since this used to be a syndicate crib, thought I'd poke around and see what they left behind. Right, so what am I looking at? Safety deposit keys. Now, don't you want to know what it is they all got locked up? The Syndicate will know we have the keys. They'll be waiting for us to make a move. Well, I guess then you better watch my back. All right, let's go. All righty. So not much we have to do in this one. Just basically go and uh, defend. I'm going to go in, open the safety deposit boxes, get the shit, and then come out. Hmm. Sounds easy enough. Fuck no. Always exaggerating, Pierce. Just be ready when I come out. I'm always ready. Right, I'm coming out now. Keep my ass covered till I can find somewhere to hide. Sure. Did you get what we need? Hell yeah. Gotta stay in practice. All right. So, like I said, this is just another guardian angel mission thing. You get a few of these in the game. Not really too big of a Damn, deal. These guys don't um, give up. The big thing you just have to make sure is um, just not like have any of these guys blow up near the car, of course, because that causes a lot of extra damage that is not necessary. Don't let these assholes get too close. There we are. So, yeah, not too hard of a thing to do, but it is a bit tedious. And um, these AI tend to have the nasty habit of getting stuck on things. Oh, fuck. See, that was the thing, you know, like I said. You kind of have to be careful of, um, you know, not blowing up the car right next to them. Because, you know, things like this can happen. And then Pierce never fucking stops complaining, of course, which is the fucking other thing I hate about this. But, either way, it's just little things you have to deal with in this kind of instance of a mission, but you'll get over it really quick. You kind of just learn to zone him out. Come on. Is that all you have? There we are. So, it's usual so if I go a bit quiet, because uh, we'll kind of have to try to keep up with these. What? Oh, dear shit. Alright, come on, let's go. Okay, how? Why is this helicopter going sideways? I just noticed that. 
Like, it is flying to sideways. Move it, Pierce. I can't blow up the car when you're right next to you. Well, you fucking keep pausing. Look at this shit. Alright. Oh. There we are. That works. It's not that they're going. There we are. Okay, come on. Oh, hello. There we are. Come on. The building is just over the bridge. Come on, Pierce. Hurry this up. Oh my god, Pierce takes forever with this shit. Oh, this is the part where I have to go and snipe him, which is gonna be really awkward. Oh, I actually almost had that one, surprisingly. Alright, so come on, let's go. Switch over to me sniping. So I can go and suck at that too. But as you guys notice, I am wearing the, uh, I think the Cantress or something like that, as it's called in here. I'm not too sure. I haven't, like I said, I haven't played this fucking game in a while. So I don't really know all the um, all the names really well, but it's one of the other DLC ones. Because originally in the um, in the game you unlock um, I think it, like Nightblade's uh, regular costume instead of the Cantress. Which originally I was like, dude, why can't you just have the Cantress costume? But nope, they made that DLC, so you kind of had to wait on that. Um, but let's go and get all these out of the way. Ooh, I did not expect to have the car blown up on them, but that works. And, uh, let's see here. Oop, there's more right there. Come on. There, there we are. There we are. God, this fucking... This sniper rifle is way easier to use than some of the other ones I've been using lately. Oh. Oh, shit. They just ran over Pierce. Why am I not zoomed in? There we are. Alright, so Pierce just needs to hurry this up. Uh, luckily, this is only like one instance that you have to do. They didn't really make it, you know, a lot like they tend to do on a few other ones of these. Come on. Stay in practice. The cool thing about this one is you really just have to uh, shoot when it's red, so. There we are. There we are. And there we are. And it always seems to be like one shot kill with this thing, so it's pretty cool. Alright, and Pierce is almost home free, I guess. Unless, oh shit, there's one. Come on. Come on, are you kidding me? Ah, uh, it's in a spot where I can't even get him. But I think he finished it up, so it doesn't really matter. Yep, Guardian Angel complete. Awesome. So I think there's only like two or three instances of Guardian Angel, and that's about it. Everything else is just like another different little side quest thing, but either way, that's another mission down, another activity down, which really that's all all it really was, so I kind of hate the fact that they just did that to me, but anywho, uh, let's see, since I completed another one of those and another one of those, so I got some more time, didn't quite take as much time as I thought it was going to be, but uh, let's see, we've got still more cash, which is good. Uh, I did buy a few up upgrades on here. Um, I bought one for extra money whenever I go and get that. I don't have enough for that, sadly. But, uh, let's see here. Health regen, I already bought that one. Uh, damage for bullet. Um, let's see, reduction on... Oh, uh, what? That's only that much? i surprised I haven't bought it sooner. No, uh, what about vehicle damage? Eh, I don't really need that right now. More ammo on those. Eh, not really gonna go with that. But, <clears throat> but as you guys can see, that's the skill I was talking about earlier in another episode. Once I reach level 26, I don't really need to buy nitrous on any vehicle because, well, it's already going to have it. That's why I don't exactly like having it. Uh, I'm so surprised I haven't bought this one. Because that one's a great one to have right there. Um, but yeah, I guess that's pretty much it from, from that. Uh, let's see here. Is there anything near here I can go and do? Um, well, let's see. I still need to discover a whole bunch of these. But there is a gang operation right here. Oh, that's what they're called. I would just call them like gang attacks or whatever. But... Every little name, whatever, I don't care. Either way, let's uh, grab a gun out here. And yeah, I really need to upgrade the guns too. I gotta stop spending yeah, so much money on other little options. And um, yeah, I should go and. I really need to go and start saving up the money on here and start upgrading my weapons on the near misses. I gotta do a lot more near misses. Alright, so. We're gonna start up this uh, gang operation thing. And I'll, first thing out first, I'll do this. And Johnny would have loved that yeah. one. Come on, reload. All right, shit, gotta move out and launch another grenade over there. Ah, shit, come on, that was retarded. I'll do this. 
There we are. That actually worked really well. So I didn't do that first. All right, let's see here. Let's just collect up what they just dropped behind. Oh, that was really fucking good. I really should have just done that the first time. And the freaking octopus doesn't fucking just stop talking. Oh. Okay, what are you guys doing here? This is none of your goddamn business. Get the hell out of here. Alright. Alright, All right, let's go. Oop. Alright. Oh, shit, they brought a fucking brute over here. Screw these guys. I, I ain't messing with the brute right now. Ooh, that is a nice chopper, but I'm not gonna grab that. Uh, let's just continue on over here. That was a pretty easy gang operation once I pulled out the freaking octopus. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see here. What else is there for me to do? Oop, not, I'm not going to save the game yet. Uh, what do I need to do that? No, I need to, see, to go and be saving the game yet. Not yet. Uh, let's see here. Map. Uh, shit, anything else? Not really. Uh, missions. Trafficking. Let's do trafficking. Why not? Oh, hey, that was actually... Oop, I have a picture opportunity. Over a of oh, never mind. I don't have a picture Maybe opportunity. Maybe we should do a little advertising around town. You know, pimp the same... Alright, so yeah. Oop, hello. So where are we that selling was, uh, this stuff? Weird. Let's cut right to the heart of this shit. Hit the Morning Star territory. And where is that exactly? The documents we got with those keys gave up a whole lot. Then lead on. What's in the box to sell? Got some basic merchandise. You know, like shirts and lunch boxes. So, nothing good then. Well, there's always my demo tape. Like I said. Wow, that was a low blow right there. But anyways, nobody really likes Pierce. Except for a few people, but even then, no, nobody really likes Pierce. So this one's a pretty easy one, just two deals. It's just introducing you to the activity like usual. You know, some of these activities did change, some of them were a bit better. Um, but really, not really much else to do. Oh shit, that was a supercar like right there. There we are. Alright, let me go and switch over my weapon. There we are. Okay. Ah, shit. The dealer. Oh, shit. Alright. And right, let's see here. There we are. That works. Alright, so that worked. Now, all we have to do. Oop, that guy just wanted to go and hump his own vehicle. Alright, let's go, Pierce. Let's go. Push it. Push it. Push it. I don't think that'll work. Alright, so pretty much just your regular instance of drug trafficking. We've done this thing so many times throughout the series, it's not really need to be explained. So anyways, let's just go and keep going putting this done. Ah, hold it steady, pure shit. I'm trying to... Oh, oh, oh there he goes. Oh, shit. Okay, these guys just need to hold steady now. Oh, that works. Alright, anyways, let's go and continue on. Come on, let's go. I think he's just moving the thing just to see my tits jiggle. Come on. There you go. Pierce, let's go. Come on, let's go. There we are. Alright, any day now. Oop, looks like I got an upgrade too. I don't know, I, I guess... Fuck it, you know what? I, I don't need to interrupt it yet. Let's just fucking keep going. I need to get this mission done already. Alright, come on, let's go. You're pretty smooth with this. Fuck right I am. Maybe you're in the wrong profession. Nah, cool. Let's pick this up another time. Gotta work on my technique. Sure, we got the message out. Alrighty, so pretty much that's it. Like I said, they keep these ones small just because, you know, they're introducing you to the whole activity thing. So, not really much to worry about right now on those. These first few missions are always kind of boring because they're always trying to just introduce all the little mechanics and then they go and plop you in there and do something else. But, anywho, we, we got this going and that should be it for them. And yeah. I completed that. Another trafficking thing done, and another one down. So, trafficking done. 
That's all done. And I'm gonna grab that freaking motorcycle right there. Saddle up. <laughs> there we are. That works. Oh, that was cool. All right. Anywho, uh, let's see how much time we got. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna go just go. Ooh, actually, let me see here. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oop, I, this fucking motorcycle is being really weird to me on the controls. Oh, that's just the Planet Saints. Yeah, you should be perfect. Whatever. We, we're gonna hear your little one-liner so many times. It's ridiculous. I don't need that yet. Uh, this is just ammo, melee. I'll do that one later. Ca swap cash for respect. Pay cash for four thousand respect. I'll do that later. Don't really need it right now. Okay, that's just another one. Uh, let's see here. Where is my nearest uh, garage or whatever? Because I need to save this motorcycle. Or really, I just need to go into like a um, what you call a. Uh, oh, we can always. Oop, actually, that is not a hideout. That's something I need to buy. Let's go to this uh, cribs HQ. Perfect. And yeah, we'll do that. But pretty much. A lot of this stuff is going to end up being uh, just upgrading and upgrading um, guns and whatnot. I'll tend to do a lot of that stuff off uh, cam, just so it doesn't interrupt too much of the flow of the gameplay as much. And then after that, I don't really know what else we're going to end up doing. Just more activities and more missions. Just little things to kind of raise up the respect and raise up uh, you know, the amount of money we can go and start unlocking for our characters. i got to also do some some, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, some tattoos on, on my character, too. And a few people were asking about the, um, the face paint and the mohawk and all that. Um, everybody knows that once I start off a Saints Row, uh, you know, video or something, I have to have my character with a mohawk. That's a given. Anytime I record, I always have that mohawk on the character, at least in the beginning. And the whole, uh, woman thing, and the first Saints Row, I thought you could make your character a woman. Turns out you can't, so um, that was a request from a viewer, so I decided to go and do it for uh, Saints Row 2, and I kind of like the whole, you know, way of, um, you know, just having it go the lines and whatnot. So I decided to just stick with the woman, plus, you know, it's a bit easier on the eyes, so to say. So, we're going to store this car in the in the uh, garage and whatnot. That's good. And, you know what, I think I'm just going to go and end the episode here. Next one, we're going to go and start up more of the missions and more of the activities and more of what you've been basically seeing. But we're going to see if we can add a bit more variety and see what else we can go and get in. But for now, I'm going to go and edit here. Thank you guys for watching. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. All right. And, yeah. Peace.